to RSVP or for more information. It is totally free. As this program is free, everything, whenever I'm giving information out, I don't believe in charging for information. I never like charging for information. I always get folks telling me, well, I'll pay you for a consultation and I'll pay you to answer my questions. I always feel uncomfortable charging people for information because it's not my information. I don't own the information. This is all stuff that I've gleaned from my own research and uh, you guys can do the same thing. So I always feel uncomfortable charging for any of this stuff in the health seminar like this radio program. And, and when I consult with you guys on the phone, it's all going to be free and it will be life changing. Call Clinton Scott at 763-221-8432. Okay, our phone number today is 855-660-4261. Let's go to Annette, who we left on hold yesterday. Annette in California, what's going on? I'd like to know if it's a good thing to get a pacemaker oh. for my AFib. Well, no, I don't think it's a good thing. I think, I think it's crazy. Pacemaker is a little piece of electricity in your heart. Are you a cyborg, Annette? Are you a robot? Are you a real person? You're probably a real person. You don't sound like a robot. So don't put electronics in your body if you don't have to. AFib is an electrical conductivity issue. It means that the electricity is not flowing through the heart as effectively. But it's not a primary issue. It's a secondary issue. It follows other things. So your symptoms, your, your problems, your health issues are not your causes are not the conditions. We've got to work on the condition, Annette. So there's two things with AFib. And, and by the way, you're in good company. There's many, many millions of Americans who are dealing with AFib. And you're lucky they're not putting you on one of those blood-thinning drugs because that's what they love to do for folks who have AFib. So two things, and only two things, you've got to think about with AFib. One is inflammation, microscopic inflammation that's interfering with... Uh, uh, the way electricity is conducted in the heart, that's number one. And number two is uh, a manifestation of the stress response, the emergency response. Your body thinks there's an emergency. Now these two can be related, but I'm going to address them separately. Number one, for the inflammation, we got to figure out what's getting into your body that's causing this microscopic disruption, this microscopic inflammatory response in the heart. Something's getting into your body. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Okay, so how do is things get in? A para, is it the parathyroid? That is no, not quite. And the parathyroid might be involved, but that's not the cause still. There might be some involvement there, but that's not the cause. The parathyroid regulates calcium, and calcium is definitely involved in conduction, but that's not the cause. The cause is going to be, have, I, you probably I have, have parathyroid, hyper, hyperthyroid or hyperparathyroid? Hyperparathyroid. All right, that's because your parathyroid's freaking out. It's trying to get calcium where there's probably no calcium. But that's still secondary. You know, it doesn't do us any, any good to work on the leaves of the tree if we've got a rotten trunk and rotten roots. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then you got to leave. The parathyroid's the leaves, and the AFib is the leaves. Now, your boneheaded doctor, excuse me, your boneheaded medical model, I don't know if your doctor's a bonehead, but certainly the medical model's a bonehead uh, collectively. Uh, that'll address the leaves. It'll say, oh, we got to fix your leaves. We'll cut the leaves off. Okay, then you'll, be, then you'll be better. Or we'll spray the leaves with some kind of magical spray, and then it won't, it will, it'll be painted, and then it'll look like your tree is healthy. No, you got rotten leaves and rotten tree. So we got to work on the leaves and the tree. Number one, what's getting into your body? AFib needs to, number one, always be regarded as a, a manifestation of something getting into the body, usually through food and the digestive system. Now, Annette, based on the sound of your voice, I'm guessing you're at least in your 50s or 60s, correct? I'm in my 70s. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, God bless you. Now, Annette, you probably, you probably know this if you're in your 70s, that you've been having digestive issues for many years. Nobody has AFib without digestive issues. Let me say it again. Nobody has AFib without digestive issues, period. You can't. It can't happen. Okay? I wasn't yelling at you, Annette, by the way. I was just trying to say uh -huh. that for reinforcement. Um, any case, look to the digestive system. If you have constipation, which is very common with AFib, very common, then you've got to look to foods that are causing that. If you have loose stools, which is less common, you've got to look to foods that are causing that. Heartburn, bloating, gas, discomfort, nausea, any of those, you need to link those with foods and then eliminate those foods. The next thing we've got to do is start to stabilize bacteria in the gut. Bacteria in the gut produce gases, and when they're out of balance or you don't have enough of the right kind of bacteria, gases can start to get secreted into the bloodstream, and that can also cause problems with the cardiovascular system. So get yourself on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night, and uh, eat what fermented uh, product called the Biolumin Nightly Essence. If you call 866-735-2470, 
866-735-2470. They can tell you all about the BioLumin Nightly Essence and other products I'm going to tell you about in, in a moment here. So I want you to stabilize the digestive tract first. I call it the gut, the digestive now, that system. 866-735-2470. You got it. Perfect. Uh, it's called, I call them and I can get this. Yes, they'll know all about it. It's called the BioLumin Nightly Essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. You'll notice that it'll change your digestive habits or your digestive health and will also improve your AFib. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start to work on whatever is causing the stress response. The first thing is stuff getting into the body. The second thing is the stress response. Right away, and that, I'm going to give you a tip that is going to eliminate your AFib entirely as long as you're doing this. Now, when you stop doing it, you'll probably have AFib again. But if you could practice slow, deep breathing, you'll notice your heart rate will stabilize, especially if it goes into fibrillation. Lack of oxygen is a major stimulus for fibrillation. Lack of oxygen, hypoxia, low blood oxygen, is a major stimulus for heart problems, including rhythm and fibrillation issues. So simply sitting on the couch, watching TV, and practicing deep, slow breathing can be, have a dramatic effect on stabilizing the heart rhythm. Keeping sugar intake down and lowering your insulin is another major strategy for keeping the heart in rhythm. Elevated blood sugar, elevated insulin levels are associated with all kinds of heart problems, including rhythm problems. So weaning yourself off of fast-burning sugars, that is bread and pasta and potatoes and cereal and desserts and fruit juices and fruits and all these kinds of foods that spike your blood sugar is the second thing you want to do. And then the third thing you want to do is get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program, especially the B vitamins, very important for heart health. And if you're not replacing your B vitamins after you go to the bathroom, you're deficient. Potassium, calcium, and magnesium, also extremely important for heart rhythm. And all of these are going to be found in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Vitamin C is not to be marginalized either. And again, those will be found in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Get yourself on the Healthy Start Pack. And don't go away, Annette. I'll tell you how you do that when you come back from our break. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Don't go away. We'll be back after this. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even if I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. 
GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. While my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues, no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Results will vary from case to case. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right, we are back on the bright side talking to Annette. I know I gave you lots of information, Annette, and I know I do uh, tend to do that on this program. I'd rather give you more information than less. You can always go to the archive page at brightsideben.com and review everything we just talked about, okay? Annette, you there, ma'am? All right, so first of yeah. all, we got to figure your uh, AFib, which is considered an epidemic these days, needs to be regarded as a sign of a body in distress, an emergency. This emergency is usually caused by something getting into the system, the body, uh, inappropriately. That is the digestive system usually, so you got to work on the food issue, as we talked about, and then secondly, the blood sugar issue. So two things. Uh, right off the bat are food and then blood sugar. You need to uh, fix, use all the nutrients for fixing the digestive system and stabilizing the blood sugar. Uh, and then there's the micronutrients that you need. Number one, the B vitamins, extremely important. And, and the electrolytes, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Every time you go to the bathroom and urinate, you lose these. If you're not replacing them, you're deficient. And deficiencies in the B vitamins and electrolytes, as the name implies, will easily cause electrical issues like AFib. So get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Call 866-735-2470. In fact, tell them you want the whole Healthy Start Pack to go with the BioLumin Nightly Essence. Then you also want to be practicing your deep breathing techniques, sitting on the couch and practicing slow deep breathing, maybe a minute or two minutes or three minutes a day. It doesn't take much to reoxygenate your blood and make sure you're getting enough oxygen. If you feel like your heart is starting to pump really fast or go out of rhythm, then it's especially important to slow down and sit on the couch and practice your deep breathing. Another thing you can do, and this is not, by the way, this is not just for net. This is for everybody out there listening who has rhythm, heart rhythm problems. The second thing you want to, or the next thing you want to do is see if you can associate your AFib when your heart goes out of rhythm to something you did an hour before, half an hour before, a couple hours before. See if you can associate some kind of lifestyle choice you've made, whether it's a food you've eaten or a, a, a condition in your environment, something going on in your life. Uh, see if you can link that to the AFib. It could be something, uh, an event. You could, may notice you're holding your breath or it may be a specific type of food that you're eating. Uh, it may have something to do with uh, your blood sugar going out of whack, as we said earlier. So lots of things you could do. None of them involve a pacemaker. None of them. None of them. If your doctor didn't tell you about any of the stuff I just told you about and he wants to put a pacemaker in, find another doctor. You understand what I'm saying, ma'am? And I don't mean to be yelling at you. Does that make sense? Sure. Lots oh, of stuff you could do. Was better than what one cardiologist wanted to do the shot. Yeah, they want to. Oh, you know what else in that? Sometimes they want to burn your heart. Sometimes they'll do a cardiac ablation. Well, they'll stick electricity and, and kill your heart to, to get it back in rhythm. Now, I, I, I don't want to get all freaked out and mad, so I'm not even going to talk about this anymore. I hope I helped you, Annette. God bless you, my dear. Hope everything works out. Okay, God bless. Okay, Kim in Orlando, who we left on hold in the past. What's going on, Kim? How you doing? Oh, thank you, Ben, for your great work. And please announce if you ever do come to Orlando, because we'll all be there for you. I, thank you, Kim. I absolutely will. And I love Orlando. 
Okay, and uh, there's a lot of northerners coming down now, so you'll get a lot of people. Um, anyway, uh, two quick questions. I heard you say in the past that you could get uh, hydrochloric acid in drop form from a, a compounding pharmacist. Correct. Do you need a prescription for that? You know, it depends on your state. And in Florida, I'm pretty sure you do need a prescription for it, yes. But anybody, a dentist can write it or a podiatrist. You don't need to go to a cardiac or, or GP or a regular 